Hey, I see you. My name is Chisom. Hello. So today I'm talking to you about something very exciting. I'm sure you can see in the comment section already. And yeah, this is a good time to relax and enjoy this. I'm talking about how to satisfy her cravings in bed even after the honeymoon phase. So, okay. So you've been married for a while now. Okay, you're about to go for your honeymoon or you're back and you're wondering when this get boring, hang in there. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of video and subscribe and let me get my earrings on and we'll go right into the topic. Okay. So welcome back. Thank you for staying. Do subscribe, have you? Okay. So you belong to any of these categories of three categories of people I mentioned earlier and I said is either you've been married for a while or you are at the point where you are about to get into your honeymoon phase that means you just got wedded congratulations by the way or you just are back from the honeymoon and you're wondering won't this get boring how do i keep this going with this one woman with this one man but anyway i am quintessentially talking to men as usual because those, those are my focus on this channel okay that familiarity that can bring contempt can set in and you do not want it to set in okay so first of all let's get through the nine points really fast number one make sure you got your medicals right so this is a no-brainer you should be but usually people don't talk about this especially if you didn't go through a system where you are mandated to do it maybe in a religious organization or so you might have to i have a lot of people who i know who didn't go for medical checkup before they got married so one thing that that does is that it does not keep trust one person might actually be nursing it in her heart especially she herself might actually be wondering or maybe she has even told you like let's get you know let's do a laboratory test just to be sure that we are safe from all the killer diseases and you know likely terminal diseases or curable diseases or stds and the rest or even the fact that oh we just went to be sure that we are safe and then take the appropriate treatment so that we can start on a fresh footing you know no matter what our sexual history has been but some people just gloss over it and don't mention it for a fact i didn't have anybody advise me to say oh make sure you get you got your medicals right so i hope that somebody too listening to me have never gotten that advice and may not be considering it but help, tell me tell me tell me how will you feel after watching this video and you actually have not done it and you go get it and you go do it it is amazing first of all it helps your mind to be settled balanced when a woman's mind is not settled when she's not sure what she's going to get when she's not sure what can happen it intensifies her tension even during the act and that is not good for you because you're not going to have her totally and her ability to be satisfied will be zero number two point is make sure that you are able to tell her how much you want her how much sexual what your sexual preference is make sure you're able to, to tell her what your sexual preference is and get her to relax the idea the, the, what i usually get is people who are you know engaged married or about to get married and they haven't even talked about the most important things right they haven't talked about it in a relaxed way some people have done it like an interview what do you like and all that we all have our hangouts up right she might be the person who have been afraid of sex because of experience or what she has heard from people she might also be the kind of person that be very exposed to sex and doesn't know how to hold it back or how to help to hold that conversation what you want to do is to let her know that whatever it is no judgment zone is here i'm here for you baby and i think that's the essence of loving in the first place so when you make her know that you are with her and you don't care what her past has been right you also start that by making sure that you're telling her about your sexual preferences what is it that you love most about love making what do you want to be done to what do you want done to you rather and what do you want um her to be able to tell you you know for you to do it shows that you're a listening partner it shows that you're ready to make the bedroom rock all the time and it helps her come to a place where she feels secure to be able to open up about also the right places to touch the right time to do it and all of that and trust me you're gonna get much 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 more results that way number three teach her the connection between sex 
and outcomes in the spiritual and physical world i know you might be thinking yeah what she's talking about this time yes sex is as spiritual as it is physical let me let me bust your bubble guys before i got married this was one of the conversations we had i am my husband and not because we're not talking about it like what do you like and we did all that but more my husband was able to let me know that most times sex is sex between couples is so blessed that you know you can transmutate sex to creativity anybody who is in the creative field will know right you can transform your sexual energy into creativity that same way you can transform your sexual energy into results that you want in real life hmm. so whatever it is that you're believing for financial moral children whatever it is when you're conscious at the at the time you are both uh, intimate when you're conscious that oh we are believing both both of us are believing for this and we agreed on it and you have you know and get intimate with that mindset you'll be on you'll be unconquerable guys try it try it i should have warned you that this third point is going to blow your mind ask me for that questions in the comment or in the you know or personally and i will let you know more about this number four now let me tell you what that also do, does it helps the woman to understand that sex is good sex is that god loves sex i mean god made it right it makes her come to a place where she's totally totally down for you guys if you do not know about it now that i've said it go research it and apply it you'll be shocked at what you'll get number four right um foreplay is not a few minutes to the, to, to the do foreplay is actually something you do as a lifestyle my husband tells me i love you thank you for agreeing to marry me stick stuff like that he says it almost all the time i'm not saying every day almost all the time so it's something I'm, i've grown knowing it's something i have that has really helped me i've grown a lot since getting married guys i have emotionally you know there's nothing like being secure with your partner nothing beats it guys now when you let her know that girl i'm for you i'm grateful you're in my life first of all you come you removed her boundaries you made her you know feel secure and security is very important for a woman now also randomly touch her kiss her yesterday i were driving you know going to work and my husband held my hand she was, he was driving but he held my other hand you know for a while and he continued for no reason before i would always ask like what you know do you want to say something but now i'm used to it that's just how he expresses himself right now do those random acts of you know um affection a woman f cannot have enough of affection so it's not about in penetration and all of those it's about showing her that you are genuinely do value you, right touch her bum send her a whatsapp message at work like i can't wait to be back to you i'm gonna do this to you just get ready you know trust me that works all the time is this even my real accent i don't know why i'm talking like this guy <laughs> next have a bath perfume your body just before the act guys this intensifies the woman's art and also prompt her to also do the same you guys are gonna do, do i need to say more right you know <laughs> like you know just go try it always have a fresh bath even if you had a bath an hour before before the act just have a fresh bath and then you know relax and you know start the talk and the foreplay and the real thing it works like magic especially when you apply roll-on and perfume number what's number i can keep you know number six number six make sure that your sheets your bed sheets are clean you know all those sweats whether you have washed it the day before or two days before though those sweats you know in the night can you know can bring some kind of smell right so make sure that you guys get the bed sheets clean you know ready and tucked in properly and perfumed if you like i like to put perfume on anything hair scarf everything i love it i just love it right so you guys can help each other you know just make it a habit you're going to have more fun at this trust me guys trust me i'm not even i'm not even joking okay now also the next thing is ensure to agree on a safety measure mm -hmm. before you get in there are you guys ready for a baby these are things to think about talk about first so so that you guys can agree okay should we put some protection should we should i withdraw so you can ask should i withdraw at this point can i you know depending on your capacity you guys know right or okay you have your um 
your family planning device in place so we should we know we are safe to do this whatever it is you know recount it again just before they do and make sure that you are both at the place where she is secure her mind is not beating she's not feeling frustrated she's not feeling like i'm doing it for him let him just do it and leave me he's not considerate he doesn't know what i'm going through he's not even caring that i'm not happy he's not caring no get that sorted in the first place especially if she just had a child if she just had a baby you want to make sure that you she doesn't the greatest fear at that point is i don't want to take in again and see guys there's nothing like she's breastfeeding and you know she's not going to take in and all of those things i know i'm talking about honeymoon but i just thought to pitch this in right so maybe she already had a child somehow or you both are you know just make sure that you don't put her in a place where she is tensed at the act okay now while you are at the do make sure you focus on her pleasure now this is the point where a lot of guys just you know get it mixed up a bit make sure that you want her to climax to be satisfied before you right one thing it helps your mental resilience it helps you to stay longer before coming you don't want to just come and then she's just about to warm up and you are done guys it can be very frustrating for a woman trust me it can feel like oh my god where does he even bother <laughs> and you know for people who are not even married those are kind of things that makes a woman just feel well i know his type just give it to him and get to the other guy who knows how to handle me ladies am i giving you am i saying your mind <laughs> i'm not a bad girl guys but that's true guys and i'm telling you from a woman's perspective you because you wanted to hear it right have you even subscribed at this point have you subscribed so two more to go also next thing make sure that while you're at it you are communicating how you feel you know a little bit even if, if you're not the loud type communicate while at it don't let don't let it be like it's a cemetery um solemn moment right just be able to communicate say oh my god you know just mourn as well as her you make her feel relaxed feel welcome feel like her ringtones matter to you and feel like she's doing it with somebody who is also equally enjoying it we want to hear you enjoy it as well i know some of you have grown up just doing it in silence because that's what you have been doing since you were single now you're married see get your doors to be soundproof <laughs> ours is soundproof guys and i'm not joking okay get it to be soundproof and you know just go ahead and have fun have fun life is for the living have fun while at it finally clean up afterwards don't just sleep off doze off clean up encourage her to do the same as well and then come back and cuddle a bit depending on what time of the day it is if it's a quickie kind of thing make sure you both clean up hold her a bit and then off you go or lie in bed for a while don't just doze off don't doze off dirty smelly and then leaving her hanging we do get a lot of things until i come here away again what you gotta do is give this video a thumbs up subscribe and come back for this share this video to that guy who is struggling right now you might be saving a marriage guys and i'm not even joking guys guys divorce is on the rage you want to send this to your guy friend to your party you know just tell him watch this video to take a few tips Try it again with her and let's see if this can be mended. All right. Remember that to say your truth at all times, you know, helps you become the sexier man in the room. It's not by keeping quiet and keeping secrets. This also helps your sexual life. Bye. <laughs>